welcome at next time um, thank you for buying a next time clock um, with some simple movies we try to explain you a little bit about our clocks and the problems you might encounter I would like to, to show you a little bit uh, about our radio control clocks uh, which uh, should be 100% accurate and which are set uh, to the atomic clock in Frankfurt in Europe anyway. If you unpack the clock, the clock uh, should be flush exactly at the, at the 12 o'clock, uh, like, like you see this one. If you put in the battery, uh, you have to put in a good quality battery. You can use the next time battery, which is of a good quality. The clock will, will probably uh, not move or set itself to 4 o'clock, 12 o'clock, where it will wait for a signal from Frankfurt. Um, with this clock, you might encounter some problems in offices uh, where you have big uh, metal constru constructions, big concrete buildings. Um, if there's not enough uh, opportunity for the signal to get in, um, it's very difficult for the clock to set itself on time. This is the most common problem with this clock. Uh, is another problem which, ha which sometimes happens is during transport, the hands might have moved uh, a little bit. I think it's important um, that you um, then open the clock at the back, maybe look at the other movie where I explain how to change the movement on, uh, on one of our station clocks, and then you uh, can open the clock and set the hands back at 12 o'clock. Um, at the moment you set them back on 12, put back into the battery and then it should set itself on the correct time. The clock that sets itself, uh, you see it stays at 12 at this moment, so we have to wait for the signal uh, uh, from Frankfurt uh, and it will start setting itself. A few little remarks. There is an explanation with this clock in the box. It will explain you exactly what the buttons are for. If you really don't know how to, how to continue, um, just with a little screwdriver, you see two little pins here. You can push them against each other and it will reset, do a, a hard reset of the total clock. I just did it and you will see it will probably set its back, itself back to 12 o'clock. If you decide to open up the clock, uh, it's very important that you take care that the movement is on 12 o'clock and that it will then start to uh, set itself. If the movement itself is not on 12 o'clock, you start pushing on the hands at a different time. Um, it will later on, when it starts setting itself, it will have another perception about time than you will have yourself. So it's important that if you set, if you decide to take off the hands yourself, you reset it first, and then you s wait until the hands stop and then you push the hands, take the hands off and put them back at 12 o'clock. If you set, uh, if you do the reset, you see it will return itself to the 12 o'clock. Um, then it will wait for a signal. Also, after you did the reset and the hands stop, you know that it's 12 o'clock. You can take off the hands and put them back exactly at 12. Um, now you simply have to wait for the signal uh, and it will set itself. As you see, it got a signal from Frankfurt and is now setting its time. Sometimes the clock loses signal uh, because of the, the concrete structure or the steel structures of buildings. Um, it should, when it receives the signal again, it should be fine. If it has problem uh, receiving the signal, we advise to hang it at, in another position and to see if it works there. Uh, usually if you put it near a window um, and you can see if it sets itself on the right time, it's a signal problem. That's very difficult to, to prevent. Uh, also, sometimes wiring the wall uh, might give some kind of uh, radiation, which may, might give the problem uh, of the movement not setting itself. I wish you good luck with this clock, and uh, thank you.